Hey guys, <laughs> I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try to re-record this. I have to start over um, because I realized that it was showing very dark. Anyway, um, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and look in the description bar for other details. Um, now, the subject is, do collectors buy for status? And the answer is, of course, I'm not gonna make you wait the whole video to tell you what I think it is. Absolutely, yes. Um, is it wrong to do that? Not really. Um, do I do that? No. Um, have I thought about, at one point, buying dolls and bringing them on my channel for um, entertainment, views, etc. Yes. Um, at one point I thought I could just do reviews and just, you know, look at multiple dolls for multiple sculptors and all that stuff. But then I realized very quickly that I can't like a doll or buy a doll that I am not interested in so that never worked. Will people ever come and say yes I'm buying dolls for status? Absolutely not. And if you're expecting to get that answer <laughs> you wait on it because it's not gonna happen. I don't like her in this but I thought I wanted to see if she could fit it and she kind of do fit it more than um Noah did, but this is funny because this is a zero to three month and it's huge. It's burpee, so this will be more. Gosh, this thing is so big. Um, maybe Susu will be able to wear it. I don't know. But, um, you know, another thing that people buy for status because sometimes, you know, um, they need they need that to draw attention to their channels or you know maybe they feel maybe they feel like they need it maybe they feel like you know their personalities are not enough or you know um so they have to you know try to get what's popular or what you know is buzzing in the community the brand name dolls you know the big name dolls the big name sculpts to try to draw attention um but like i said if that's your, your purpose is to try to become YouTube famous or gain a big status in the community and that's the way you want to do it then I don't see anything wrong with it it's their platform and you know it's YouTube is is, is basically a form of entertainment and you know if that's the way they feel they want to do to entertain you guys I'm sure you guys her body again I switched her out in this and oh by the way she is actually also, she's Pierce Mia Moore. She's my oldest reborn. She's been with me almost seven years. She's in the same, very same condition that she was when I first got her. She has still her very nice texture. She was painted by Yolanda Boy Glover. She is still, even though I don't show her that much and I don't spend as much time with her, she is still very much a very special favorite baby of mine um when I first got her everybody knew about Paris I was very petty if you even asked to buy Paris I would delete you as a friend on Facebook um now that I'm not petty now I'm just not as petty <laughs> let's not get that twisted make that note in your memo book um but um anyway I so she is just a little love bug and she's just now getting out of her Christmas clothes. So that is that. But, um, oh, and I changed her. She was supposed to be all three, four full arms and legs. But Pooh Bear 253 had the same exact kit and she changed hers to full legs. And I wanted to do mine too because I got tired of the the cloth showing the legs sticking out the diaper and all that and stuff and the legs were pretty long on this kit so I thought it would work nicely like when Pooh Bear did hers it looked nice but for a long time I could not for years I could not never take her apart but eventually 
I build up the nerves and I try to keep her weighted exactly the same as um, Yogi had weighted her because she was weighted to perfection. And I think I kind of got her pretty much the same. Um, but I think I swapped out some of her materials, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, but yeah, she, so I finally did it. But yeah, and then, you know, it's, you know, it's no different than people buying dolls for status. You know, people like to judge and pass judgment and be like, oh, people are buying dolls for judge, for status. And I'm not taking up for the people that buy dolls for status because I don't think it's a good investment or a good thing to do um, necessarily all the time. But, you know, if it works for you and it's getting you results and bringing you the views that you want, then I guess it is worth it, especially if you're being monetized and you're getting um, paid for your views and stuff on your channel. Um, then it kind of pays for the dolls itself. Um, but um, sometimes people do all that, but at the same time, they like keep throwing themselves into topics that they know nothing about just to to get status themselves. So who, what difference does it make whether you, you're buying dolls for status or you're doing topics for status? I mean, you're basically injecting yourself in stuff that you really don't know. Like, you know, people have all this conversation about dolls that they've never owned before. I mean, why is every video talking about a particular artist that you don't own none of her work. So what's the difference in you and the other person buying for status? I don't I don't see the difference. You both are thirsty for something. So um I mean, you know, that's the thing about this community. It's you know, it's a good thing, you know, when we have each other and we can share a common ground and we can like what you know, share what we like. But when we disagree, it's like it's war. It's like we can't be adults and just not like something and move on. It's like, I don't like what she's doing. I don't like her videos, so I'm not going to watch. No, it don't work like that. It's like, I don't like what she's doing. I don't like her videos, so now I'm going to talk about it for 20 years. It's like, okay, sis, make your point. You've already said what you had to say. And then move on. I mean, it gets old. I don't know. But maybe maybe the views are working to keep talking about the same thing over and over again. But for me, I just feel like, you know, okay, give your commentary and move on. What else do you have to talk about? Because, you know, the same subject is getting old. You know, yes, a lot of people buy Claritella dolls. A lot of people buy Joanna Kazmarek dolls. A lot of people buy Roman Stridum dolls. A lot of people buy... Um, who has, you know, Laura Lee Eagles, there's these, you know, Sylvia Esquire uh, painted dolls, um, whatever that lady name is, Alveda Cavava Lavava, and, you know, and, and Natalie Vitrova, and all these big time artist names that do great work. People buy their work um, because one is simply beautiful, too. Some people buy it because they want exquisite dolls and they want the best of the best of what people think is the best of the best and they will buy them just simply off the name you know what I mean so but that's their choice so what who cares people been doing it for forever even outside of the dolls there are some people that buy name brand clothes and name brand purses and big time cars for show so I say, hey, if it works for you, let it work for you. But me, I genuinely love the dolls that I love. Sometimes they're not as cute. Sometimes they're not as, you know, popular. Um, Paris Mia Moore was never popular. She was never a popular doll. I seen her on an ad and it was a baby that I liked and I wanted it. And um, I fell in love with, it, with that, that particular baby and I bought the skull. Um, she was never a popular skull. Um, a lot of the babies that I've gotten was not like a big to do. Um, even with, even though I, um, Claire Teller is a popular artist and stuff like that. Um, 
a lot of the dolls that I've bought like have been like in the start of the edition so it hadn't became like a big to do at the time but I I got it because I liked it and I wanted it and that's you know what we do um I fall in love with the sculpt first and then the painting second um so that's you know my thing and then I was talking to a friend last night and she was saying that that kind of resonated with her when I said that in another video I guess because she was like she's opposite she falls in love with the paint and the sculpt second and she's learned that she was buying sculpts that she liked but because they wasn't painted the way that she loved them she'd always end up selling the doll and I'm vice versa so yeah so it's it's pretty pretty interesting we all have different things that make us trick trick you know that makes us tick and make us you know enjoy the hobby in different ways and you know as much as we all say oh that is okay you don't make it sound like it's okay because you're constantly trying to beat down somebody for doing what they do so I had to learn that you know at one point one of my rivalries were you know I would say oh my god you know that is hideous and you know that's stupid that was dumb to do that you know why is she doing this why is she doing that that don't make sense you know blah 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 and then you know all of a sudden I realized let them be who they are that's what they like that's what they love that's their thing this is my thing and when people come to my channel you're getting a part of my world this is the way I collect this is what I love to do I like to entertain you guys make you guys laugh you know, I've had a lot of pain and heartache in my life. I've had a lot of stress. And you know what? It makes me feel good to see somebody else laughing, to make somebody else smile. Because I know what it's like to have that bad day and no nothing to relieve you. So, you know, some days, I mean, there was a day I was having a bad day. And this person channel, I'm not going to say the name, this person channel, I don't know if I really like them or not as a person. I can't really get a quite good feel of it. it feels like they're trying too hard or something but I watched their video and it just really made my day like I was literally have been crying all day and I was watching a video and I was literally like drying tears laughing at their video and enjoying their video and I was very thankful for that and then I realized you know I get all these messages from people well, I used to um I'm just now starting to get them back. People are like, oh, I'm glad to see you getting back in the groove. But um, for a while, I fell off. I won't lie. But people are like, you know, your videos have really gotten me through some some moments, you know. And um, so I, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, thank you. But I didn't really fully, fully understand it. But that moment, it clicked. And it was like, wow. I see what they're talking about because just that simple video was like whoa and sometimes it's it's reborn videos silicone videos sometimes it's not doll videos it's just other channels that I follow you know too but this particular one was in the doll community um so so yeah so everybody have their following everybody have people that enjoy their channels there are people that will love me regardless of how many people hate me and there are people that's going to hate me regardless of how many people love me. Um, so everything is not for you. And all I'm saying is that if people want to buy from status, who cares? And it's okay. It's a good topic. It's a good question. Do you think people buy from status? I would say absolutely yes. I can name at least five people right now off the top of my head that I'm almost certain that that's what they buy for. But... I can't say that, that that is a bad thing when I really think about it. I can't say it, it would be bad for me because I would be miserable. But for them, if that's what they feel like they need and they, you know, to get wherever they're trying to get or, you know, if it, that's what makes them feel good, they and, you know, you never know. Maybe they need to buy for status. Maybe they've never felt important in life. You know, and I'm not saying this the down talking about it or say this as a case, but maybe you never know their story. Maybe 
their childhood, they were always laughed, la always laughed at and teased and picked on and called ugly and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, now they get these expensive, popular dolls and people love them for it. And this is the only thing that they have to feel like they're important or special. What if that's the reason? And then here you are back trying to drag them through the mud. I don't know. Sometimes we just got to think about things and I have to think about things because I'm not innocent on that end either because I have been like, girl, you don't even know what you bought. You just find it for status. You know, I've said that. But now, you know, I'm getting older and, you know, I'm getting old and, you know, where you have uncontrollable farts and stuff and <laughs> just kidding. Well, maybe not. But, <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to to be a little bit more mature about things. So maybe you guys can look at it from a different perspective. And um, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That is Paris Miramore. And we will see you in the next video. And guys, I have a question for you guys. In the comments section, let me know if you think that, and I want you to be honest, this is the one time you get to be very honest with me. Let me know if you think I buy for status. I would really like to know if you guys think I buy for status. No, don't answer that question. I tell you what you do. Get your merch.